Okay, are we good? We're doing okay? Hold on. Gonna bring the music down a little bit there. Welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> More welcomes than, than people, but how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. I appreciate you being here. And, uh, yeah, a little bit impromptu, as all the streams have been as of late, in the last few months or so. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to have a chat. We're going to hang out. We're going to look at a few different things. Um, I was only... It was only yesterday I was made aware that the Golden Globes happened. I <laughs> didn't even know. Because I don't care. I don't care about award shows in general. And I, in particular, don't really care about the Golden Globes. It's a very strange award show. Um, it's almost like an open secret that they're incredibly biased, like on purpose almost. Uh, the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. And uh, it's very amorphous. Anything can win. At the same time, people see winners of Golden Globes as, you know, oh, it's this percentage more likely that it'll also win an Oscar in that category. Oh, boy, even the categories of the Golden Globes are so scattered and strange and outdated in a lot of ways. Um, so we're going to have a chat about some things related to that. Um, I also want to run through some recent news that we have in, in the world of animation. Uh, one of the biggest pieces of news is that Phineas, Fer Phineas and Ferb is coming back. Um, I was never super into the show when it was on originally, but uh, I'm very excited that so many other people are excited. It was obviously a huge show at the time and, you know, remain, uh, continues to have a, a significant fan base. Um, so yeah, just all that stuff, and as usual, chatting about anything. I'm I'm here to talk with you, and uh, if there's anything at all that you would like to bring up, what you've been up to, what you've been watching, what you've been playing, uh, you're more than welcome to uh, to mention it in chat. Open it up to discussion. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. It looks like all the stream stats are decent. Looks like everything's okay. I've been having some slight issues with the PC lately, so I'm, I'm <laughs> you know, hopefully it uh, remains operational and doesn't crash in the middle of the stream. But we'll see how that turns out. Also, my goodness, are you seeing how much advertising apparently this is what websites look like now. When you don't have an ad blocker installed, <laughs> this is just ridiculous. The amount of ads, and I've also already closed multiple video ads on this page. Like it, come on! Like why? <laughs> why would anybody want to put up with all this stuff? It's crazy, crazy the amount of advertising. By the way, have you heard of a movie called Pinocchio? <laughs> Did you watch Del Toro's Pinocchio? They really want you to know that this movie's performing well with the critics and with various awards ceremonies, including many of these award shows slash just awards that I've never heard of. It's all just film critics associations for specific cities. Like, what? <laughs> what? I, I guess it's a feather you can put in your cap, but... Come on. We all love the Southeastern Film Critics Association, of course, right? It's my favorite group. Music City Film Critics Association. <laughs> I'm sure they're great people. I just have never heard of them before. Um, anyway, so yeah. But I do want to talk about the uh, Golden Globes, the actual winners and such, because... Some of it's a little confusing to me. It feels strange, and I don't don't quite get it. Don't quite get the decisions made here. And it's also kind of an interesting way, I think, to review some of the um, uh, movies that came out last year, and in particular, movies released super late, so that they would be top of mind by the time award season rolled around. Um, so, I mean, even look of these... Tar came out late. Top Gun did not. Fablemans came out late. Avatar came out in, what, December as well? I don't remember when Elvis came out, but 
that's the strategy with a lot of the FYC focused movies. They wanted to come out as close to a word season as possible. So someone was like, oh yeah, I saw that last week and it was great. <laughs> that, that wins. I like that one. <laughs> hey Purple, what's up? How's it going? Welcome back. Uh, I like your, your changed icon there. It's very small, but I like it. <laughs> um, anyway, so obviously Fableman's the new Spielberg movie, uh, more or less autobiographical Spielberg movie one for the best drama feature. <laughs> uh, fine. Why not? I have not seen that one yet. I don't know if anyone else has. I mean, of you guys, I'm sure someone on the planet has seen the movie. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Purple says I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Uh, thank you for asking. I am glad to hear that you're doing well. Um, Gil, uh, welcome. First of all, uh, thank you for joining us on the stream. Go ask thoughts on the Banshees of Inishirin. Or Inishirin, I, the pronunciation is up in the air for me. Um, I actually just watched that uh, a couple weeks ago, a week or two ago. And I don't, I don't think I mentioned it anywhere on the channel. But um, yeah, some thoughts. No, I do like it a lot overall. It actually won a lot of things here. Um, quite a few. It won Best Musical or Comedy. It is a comedy. It's a very dark comedy. Uh, and then I think it won Best Screenplay. And then it won, uh, Colin Farrell won for like Best Performance. Um, anyway, no, I liked it a lot. Uh, it's written and directed by Martin McDonough, who I've followed for a little while. In Bruges, I think, was his first movie. Um, I like that was a very popular one when I was in like college. Like the film kids really liked In Bruges. Uh, Seven Psychopaths, I was a big fan of. No one likes that movie. I have a soft spot for that movie. Um, what else? Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. So I like McDonough's work. I think he was a playwright originally. He's, he's Irish. And um, you can tell right away from the dialogue. Every single one of his projects is extremely focused on dialogue, almost in the way that some of the old Tarantino stuff was, where that's like the main attraction. Um, and it's the same case for Banshees. Fantastic dialogue. Uh, at, at points it feels natural. At other points it just feels flashy but in a fun way and it is very funny uh he has a particular sense of humor kind of dry sense of humor i would say that it's like typically irish even though i don't i'm not a, <laughs> I can't say that authentically i don't know but it does give me that vibe um and uh i liked it a lot i i won't spoil the the story stuff but the premise of course is that a friend tells his, uh, you know, a friend of his like i don't want to talk to you anymore don't bother me and it sets off a whole series of crazy events and the other guys like what's wrong with me what did i do what's the issue you know this has ruined my life in a way um and one of my favorite uh characters is a donkey what's the name what's the donkey's name there's a miniature donkey in the movie jenny jenny is the name of the donkey i love jenny um anyway but it was great and yeah best screenplay let's actually see what else was in that category just so we can make a quick <laughs> comment on uh what else it was going up against best screenplay for any motion picture tar i have not seen everything everywhere all, all at once i'm decent come on women talking i'm sorry i haven't seen it in fablemans okay okay uh, decent competition i suppose um everything everywhere i assume is going to get quite a few awards throughout the entire award season but we'll see how it goes sorry let me catch up on chat here purple says i haven't watched the new puss in boots i saw a clip of the wolf guy the whistle's pretty cool oh yeah we love the big bad wolf He's, he's one of the standouts for sure. And the way they handle him in the movie is fantastic. Uh, Purple says, have you watched Berserk the Wolf? Reminds me of Guts, a character in the show. They're kind of built the same, aware of a similar hood. Oh, I've seen some Guts figurines. Wasn't there a new Guts figurine? For some reason, I now also follow like anime figurine collecting, even though I don't do it. <laughs> anyway, that's cool. Hold on. Well, I'll pull them up in another window. Because when people give suggestions, I like to keep track of them. Beast of Darkness, is it? That is coming up, and Guts is coming up. Or the Black Swordsman. So I'll take a look at that. He says, um, I didn't. Sorry, I can't stand Martin's writing style. Although this is the most, most sufferable one. It was fine. Yeah, fair enough, man. Um, and that's, the, well, that's part of it is, yeah, you have to be on board for the writing. And the other part of it is you have to be on board with 
the people he casts, because uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Colin Farrell has been cast in either the lead role or one of the lead roles in like every single one of his movies. And I don't want to talk trash about Colin Farrell as a performer in general. I thought he was miscast in Banshees. I did not like him in that role. And it's not the most likable character, sure. I just don't... It felt like miscasting to me. That's a personal thing, so I don't know how you felt about that, um, uh, Gil. But I... The other guy whose name I always forget was excellent. <laughs> most of the cast was excellent. I did not like Colin Farrell in the movie. And meanwhile, he won. Uh, he won the Golden Globe for whatever wacky... What is the? What is it called? What's the category? Oh, Inuo was nominated. I still haven't watched Inuo. Um, hold on, we got it. We got it. Best performance by an actor. Drama is Elvis. And then musical or comedy. Uh, right? Yeah. Went to Colin Farrell. I don't... I'm sorry. I don't get it. I... <laughs> and you know I hate white noise, but like that was an okay performance. Ray Fiennes is good in general. I haven't seen the menu. So, yeah, like I, I if you're not on board with those key elements of the movie, I, I wouldn't be able to stand it. Um, but yeah, I, I do like his dialogue, so I'm OK with that. Um, Gil says Jenny was cute. <laughs> All of the animals are cute. And then yeah, the animals are really a key component of the story, especially getting into like, uh, you know, the symbolism <laughs> of the animals and also his character's relationship with the animals like it's. A clear analog for the situation he's going through. Anyway, Gil also says the casting is great. Stereotypes are grating. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, well, gosh, yeah. Ooh, stereotypes and also the the time period, right? Because it's during the Irish Civil War, which is what 20, 1921 ish. Um, it feels very old fashioned. Yes, and yeah, like certain. Um, heavy drinking characters let's say and the things they get up to is uh questionable <laughs> um and a big critique i've heard of his stuff it was when a friend of mine watched three billboards and i saw it i think i saw it in the theater i liked it okay um the messaging was a little weird and heavy-handed to me but a friend of mine watched that movie and it wasn't so much like the dialogue that they hated but they specifically hated the way that uh, McDonough handled like female characters in the movie um, and was just like oh the, he just doesn't seem to care he seems much more interested on the male cast <laughs> um, even though Frances McDormand is the star of the movie I don't know you could argue that the character is handled in a strange way uh, and a lot of the other female characters it yeah he, he doesn't write a lot of them in general it really seems to focus on a ton of male characters so if that's another thing that, you know, you're not into, uh, it's a reason to get upset with this stuff. So, I meant all of them, all the stereotypes, all the movies, all the casting. Um, anyway, what else we got here for wins? Um, imagine that with, but with all of them. I see. Totally gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you even finish it, or are you just like, I'm, I'm done? <laughs> were you like 20 minutes in, and you were like, I'm, I'm shutting this thing down? <laughs> I've had plenty of those, my goodness. Uh, okay, Michelle Yeoh won for Everything Everywhere. Cool. Great performance, awesome, very cool. Um, obviously, since we talk about animation so much on the channel, Del Toro's Pinocchio winning this category. How do we feel about that? Um, I'm okay with that. I think... Prior to me seeing Puss in Boots, I would have agreed with that or maybe rooted for Marcel the Shell, even though I'm sure their marketing budget for award stuff is nowhere near these other ones. Um, finish it. I congratulate you for finishing it at, at the very least. <laughs> That's something. You know, especially if you want to comment on a movie, it's great to at least have seen the whole thing. Otherwise, people are going to be like, but you didn't see the ending. Anyway, um, so I'm, I'm okay. With, I do like Pinocchio a lot. Obviously, I, I talked, I've talked about that movie on the channel. Um, had a great time watching it. I've rewatched it a few times. But yeah, uh, The Last Wish has stolen my heart for the foreseeable future. And um, it'll be interesting to see where the Oscar lands on this one. 
I could easily see Pinocchio winning again. And of course, again, hey, look at all the marketing budget they have to tell you about this movie we, we've already heard of. So that's the animated category. Uh, I am kind of impressed that Inuo got nominated at all. Um, as I said before, I still haven't seen it, which is shameful. Um, yeah, what else we got here? Da, 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 da. Best director, Spielberg. Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it's Spielberg. Did anyone else have a, have a chance there? Um, okay. Screenplay, Banshees. Original score for Babylon. I haven't seen Babylon. I have heard some of Justin Hurwitz's stuff. I'm not a fan of Carter Burwell. I am a fan of Desplat. I have never heard of this composer. So I'll have to check their stuff out. John Williams, I think we've all heard of, maybe. I think I can safely say that. He's still alive, dude. John Williams is composed for this. He's he's composing for the new Indiana Jones movie, which is getting um, mixed reception and test screenings. That's that's the hubbub I've heard around town. Uh, <laughs> so that's that. Um, oh, Justin Hurwitz. Didn't Justin Hurwitz compose the score for La La Land? I think so. I think that's correct, but I don't feel like looking it up right now. Um, a Bollywood song won for best original song. Sure. I liked Chow Papa, <laughs> and I haven't heard these other ones at all, but this is just like a celebrity riddled thing for a Marvel movie, so I'm sure it's fine. Television series went to House of the Dragon. Has anybody watched that? Do we have uh, a bunch of uh, Game of Thrones devotees here? I'm on. I've been on the fence with the whole franchise for a long time, so I don't have much to share on that one. But I know it was slightly controversial when it first came out. So please feel free to weigh in. Um, Zendaya wins for a TV performance for Euphoria. I don't watch it. I'm sorry. Uh, Abbott Elementary, I keep hearing about and haven't watched it at all. Can you sense a theme here? <laughs> uh, Atlanta's still going. Donald Glover going for Atlanta. Okay. Don't know what the bear is. The White Lotus, season two, one. Um, for best limited series, anthology series, or motion picture made for television. Again, with the categories. What? on earth <laughs> Gil says for me the last wish is equal to the first person boots great action great villain superheroes and story I like it I, I mean obviously I like it a lot but to your comment specifically Gil um, I agree on pretty much every front I think the visuals like far surpass uh, the first movie just because technology has advanced and the art direction is so much stronger um, but storytelling ultimately similar in the way that they handle the story as I mentioned in my video on it, uh, both movies are Westerns. Like, they're very much based on the old classic Westerns. I would argue specifically the spaghetti Westerns. Um, and uh, I think that's a great angle for that character. And so it's not like they're doing anything crazy new with the storytelling and sidekick characters and villain characters and stuff. Um, it just fits into these formulas that have been used in the past for Westerns thing is i don't like westerns but i love the puss in boots movies so they're they're definitely doing something right in terms of keeping them engaging and keeping the pacing like really uh brisk brisk and exciting and interesting which i think is especially important for kids you know to keep them engaged and interested um but yeah i like both of them a lot uh i also like the the art direction of the first movie and if you ever want to see some good concept art the concept art for the first puss in boots movie is excellent Really great to look at. Um, so yeah, that's that. And I'm still on the fence of whether Puss in Boots 2 is going to win the Oscar for animation. Probably not. Pinocchio obviously seems to have a bunch of steam. Um, but beyond that, I, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's up in the air in terms of just overall quality. There, there's some real contenders in the category. Uh, not that there have been nominations yet, but it's going to look very similar to the nomination list for the Golden Globes. Gil says the bear is a cooking show. Really? Like a straight cooking show or like a drama that happens to be centered on like cooking and culinary arts and such. Um, 
Let me check the music. Sorry, I had the Jet Set Radio playlist on. I was just about to say I wasn't crazy about that song, and then it ended. I guess that I guess that works out. Um, cool. Okay. Have you seen the bear? I haven't. I haven't watched it. What is this? Clickbait junk. Oh my gosh. How Abbott Elementary went in another thing. Does that little logo mean that? Oh, that's just the ending. The article. I thought it was like the Hollywood Reporter picks this as the winner. <laughs> Drama. Okay. Cool. It would be interesting if it was just like an instructional cooking show that was getting nominated in these categories. Um, so anyway, overall, I, yeah, I have conflicting opinions on a lot of the, the winners and losers for these categories. I hate a lot of the categories in general. I think they're very strange. Um, and again, I don't actually, I'm not invested in the Golden Globes. I don't really mind, you know, good for the winners. They can put, it'll help them get other roles and jobs and stuff. Awesome. Good for you. We're very happy. Um, and yeah, there's just so much on here that I just haven't, I have not engaged with, that I have not watched. So, um, yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, so from there, let's look at some news. Some news. Uh, something that I want to very, very briefly touch on. <laughs> it's something I just saw before we started the stream. Uh, but apparently Justin Roiland is facing charges or will potentially face charges for domestic violence and false imprisonment. I don't want to go through the details and it's dark and not fun to talk about, um, but I did want to bring it up just because it is relevant animation news. And I think a lot of us have watched a bunch of the stuff that he's been involved with and he even has a brand new show out. And I'm like, how, okay, so how does this, is that going to affect this or not? Do people care? Um, but yeah, Gil says, bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for joining us, Gil. Have a good one. Um, okay, so what else we got? Uh, this could be interesting. Features that the that should be nominated for Oscars. That's cool. As I mentioned earlier, uh, Phineas and Ferb returns with 40 new episodes. That's a whole bunch. Let's read more on this because I haven't... All I've seen is the headlines. Let's get all the details here. Okay. 40 episode order of episodes. Cool. Got it. Two seasons. Sure. Okay. Nothing crazy there. Um has not been announced where it will air <laughs> um oh okay so it's just where within the disney ecosystem is it going to end up okay fine but it is disney that makes sense i don't think they would give up that that property uh da, 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 they have a log line phineas and ferb depicts two resourceful stepbrothers who conquer boredom and make every day of summer vacation count often to the chagrin of their sister candace okay um to, 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 to bring back the show's other creator cool and other just it just sounds like press release stuff so not too much information but it's coming back do they even give a timeline for when it's coming back i don't think so i guess they've just had the order for new episodes and that's all we got uh yeah as i mentioned earlier people are big fans of that one i have not gone into it at all <laughs> I was never a Disney, Disney TV, Disney Channel kid. And uh, also, I was a bit old when that show started to come out. So I just didn't catch it. Um, let's check this out quick. So I'm guessing this is going to try to highlight some slightly more obscure animated movies uh, that might get skipped over for Oscar nominations. Apollo 10 and a half. Oh, yeah, the Linklater thing. I'm not crazy about Linklater stuff in general. And I think this was yet another one of his... Um, rotoscope i think it's a rotoscope project yes 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 i can't play that because i'll get a copyright claim but yeah inuo i made a whole video about that back in last summer and never watched it little nicholas i am not familiar with this uh anisi cristal okay okay another thing i can't play but hand-drawn 2d stuff cool Mad God, I think we've talked about quite a bit. Um, it's an effects artist guy, Phil Tippett, yes? Who has apparently been working on this for multiple decades, and it's extremely highly detailed and intricate stuff, uh, and very much centered in, in horror, or just really dark material in general, uh, violent material, 
and I think it was streaming exclusively on Shudder. I mean, I'm sure you could pay for it elsewhere, but you know what I mean. You, you get it through Shudder. Um, Oink, stop motion. I've never heard of it. It's a Dutch-Belgian film. Nine-year-old girl and her pig named Oink. Okay. Great. I like the character design. <laughs> and that's the last one. Um, okay. And I have never never seen it. I don't know. If it must be a feature, right? Cool. I might try to seek that out if I can actually find it somewhere. Uh, okay, what else we got? Uh, da, 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 da. Anything else interesting here? That's sponsored stuff. Genius Brands unveils new platform Genius Networks, consolidating Frederator, Cartoon Channel, and Amoeba. I've only ever heard of you know the Frederator stuff, of course. Bravest Warriors, obviously. Um, great. Okay. <laughs> Awesome. Some other streaming service. Um, interviews. I don't think we want to read through entire interviews right now. We know that it won the Golden Globe. We just talked about that. Um, anything else? Oh, TV writer and Wild Brain Animation executive dies at 59. That's very sad. That's a young age. Uh, Oscar shortlist. <sighs> yeah, quality. so that's what I mentioned earlier of uh, one of Royland's new shows. I don't think he has a creator credit, but he's definitely an ex executive producer on it and some other things, so take that as you will. Um, oh, I have no idea how Puss has been performing financially so far, so let's take a look. Uh, after a worldwide take of $39 million, an estimated 13.1 North American 25 abroad. Wow. DreamWorks Puss in Boots is within a whisker of the $200 million mark. Okay, that's not it's not bad. It's, what, been less than a month since its release? Uh, it needs, yeah, it does need to surpass League of Super Pets. Oh, my goodness. And Lightyear. Lightyear was a flop. Yeah. And then, yeah, no way that it's going to beat out Minions. <sighs> because people are terrible. I guess that's the, the, less, the lesson here. Um, people were awful and went to see Minions for some reason. Um, but anyway, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I'm I'm glad that uh, Puss in Boots just didn't get forgotten in the wave of big giant holiday releases. Um, and I hope it puts up big numbers because it, it just needs to. We just need this thing to do well financially, okay? It, it needs to put up numbers um, so that they understand that this is uh, a big deal and it's worth investing in really interesting art styles and executions, right? Okay, didn't know this. Apparently, Inside Job has was dropped. Netflix, Netflix canceled it. I thought that show would just go on forever because if you kept listening to the hype when season one came out, you got the impression it was the most successful, popular thing of all time. Uh, I did not agree with that, and now it's canceled. But yes, to answer this question, it could absolutely be picked up by someone else. So there you go. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. what else do we have here? Toho acquires 50% stake in Bravest Warriors and V and Puppycat. Really? Oh, interesting crossover. Is that the same? Is that Godzilla Toho? I think so. Wow, that's um interesting. <laughs> oh my god. Does Vimeo still exist? I used to use Vimeo very briefly. I used Vimeo to try to upload stuff and see if I could get any, any kind of traction there a long, long time ago, long before I was doing stuff for the current channel. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> I think Vimeo has made some really bad choices in terms of uh, monetization and trying to get as much money out of their small, relatively small group of users as possible. And that doesn't tend to bode well. <laughs> And I don't think it encourages loyalty among that small group of users. So I have not been on board with their stuff for a long time. And I'm not shocked to hear that the company is not doing phenomenally as a whole. Well, there you go. There's a nice smattering of news. And we talked about the Golden Globe stuff. Um, 
I shouldn't. I've, I haven't been on that long, right? Yeah, I said I would be on at three o'clock, and it's just past three, so I'm not gonna bail just yet. But I'll, uh, you know what? I'll uh, we'll play around on a game a little bit, a low key thing, just so we have some visuals, and of course, continue chatting with anybody who would like to chat. Um, is there anything else I need to say about like the? Hang on here. Need to pause the music for a bit because I think this has music. No. 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 No servers. Uh, da, da, da. This is a little like tower defense game with some Factorio thrown in. Although I think Factorio came out after this one. But anyway, just fun to mess around with. I I really enjoy it. Uh, threat medium. Threat low. That sounds good to me. Uh, anyway, so yeah, is there anything I need to update in terms of what's going on with the channel? Um, oh, I need to save up resources first. Hang on. Do, do, do. Yeah. So basically, you're tower defense trying to protect your little thing here, and you gather resources from the environment with conveyor belts and such, and you fend off the bad guys. And this does not have music, so I will put the music back on <laughs> okay sorry i keep getting sidetracked um but yes stuff with the channel uh i have no idea how the uh my latest video is performing i just i was very anxious about posting that one in the first place and so i just just haven't <laughs> I just haven't gone back to it to check the stats or anything. Um, but a lot of the time, the stuff that I do that's a little bit more in-depth, you know, or like, uh, uh, I don't know, more theory-based, doesn't tend to perform very well. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if it was going to top off at like 30 views and that's it. Um, but it's kind of funny too because I, I was so worried about like uh, some of the things that I was saying in the video. And I don't know, potentially pointing fingers at, um, yeah, this works. This is going to be a tough level though. Potentially pointing fingers at other channels, which is not my intention at all. And like, maybe it was a mistake to include, um, footage from specific channels, but honestly, that was just to have some B roll in the background. Uh, so I really, really hope that in terms of how I wrote the thing and sort of the disclaimers I tried to give and the positivity that I tried to put into it, I hope, <laughs> I really have my fingers crossed, that nobody thinks I'm like out for blood or trying to start beef or something like that. Um, but then again, if no one ends up watching the thing, I don't have to worry about it, do I? It's just business as usual. Um, so yeah, anyway, but I am, I actually really like that video. <laughs> um I like that video a whole lot and I'm very proud of it. And so I hope that um, I hope that some at least some people are enjoying it so far. Uh, and for anyone who's more into the stuff where I talk about specific, you know, movies and shows or even games at times, um, I will have more of that soon. Specifically, uh, what else am I going to talk about soon? I was planning to talk about the Disney movie Strange World. Uh, which I, I basically ignored, <laughs> uh, how do I rotate? Oh, that's how I rotate, which I basically ignored when it came out and I probably should not have. And that's not to say like, oh, it's, oh, it's just so incredible. I should have, you know, paid more attention. I don't think it's very good <laughs> to be honest, but that said, there are merits. Um, and just as, you know, just as an animated movie. I think there's a lot to enjoy about that movie, so I, I don't want to um, give the wrong impression. But anyway, long story short, I will probably try to talk about that movie soon. And what else did I watch recently that I was hoping to do a video on? Um, oh, yes. The, uh, what is it called? The new HBO, <laughs> HBO Max exclusive series. I don't think it's airing on TV. Called Velma. Velma exists now. Uh, and if you've been paying attention to the reaction, the, the reception to Velma, it's a lot. 
there's a lot to sort through. Uh, and in fact, yesterday with a friend of mine, I was sorting through some of that info and various responses and reactions and articles trying to cover everything in context. And it's a giant mess. Even if you're trying to organize all the info and, and get everything straight, it is a giant, giant mess. <laughs> and I think it kind of deserves a lot of the backlash. I think it kind of... Uh, what's the what's the phrase i think it kind of dug its own grave in a in a certain sense um if you disagree with that viewpoint that's just fine but i'm sorry it's just not it's just not <laughs> it's just not very good uh how much time do i have oh, i have plenty of time anyway so that's that's what's going on with the channel. I'll probably say something about Velma. I don't really want to get myself heavily involved with the situation as a whole, but it is it's relevant right now. A lot of people are talking about it, and I do think it's worth weighing in with a few thoughts and opinions. That's all. Um, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we'll see if if people hate whatever I have to say about it. Um, yeah, but anyway, I'm not exactly a a stranger to people hating my stuff either. So, you know, it's fine. Um, let's see if I remember how to do all the stuff in the game. Yeah. Hmm. That's no good. Does that work? Yes, it does. Uh, so yeah, the idea you have resources, you feed them to various, uh, machines and turrets and such, and you try not to die and that's it. I'm going for this because it's relatively low. It's slow and it's low impact. <laughs> so if we're having a chat, I won't get too distracted. But yeah, I'll hang out for a while. I don't know. Another 30 minutes. If it's 30 minutes and we're still dead, then I'll then I'll hop off. But I want to give people the chance to jump in. Okay, cool. Is this okay? Think we're going to hold up? Anybody good with strategy? Because I'm not. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Okay. This is iron. Iron goes to this special gun, which only works on flying enemies. Copper we need for many things for building. And these are copper turrets. We could probably stand to build some more. Let's do that. One of these guys. You can go here. Uh, yeah. What is this song in the soundtrack it's not really fitting my let's switch to some nintendo music no no yeah if anybody has any recommendations for video game music that's usually what we can play without getting tagged <laughs> how about calm nintendo music to finish the day Oh, yeah, some Animal Crossing music. Perfect. Okay, we got two minutes until the bad guys show up. I think they come from, like, over here somewhere. The purple land. It's the Shadowlands in Lion King, obviously. Okay, uh... What do we got here? This is lead. Lead, not iron, sorry. Copper's over here. It's so far away, though. I don't know if I could use any of this. And then something else we can do is place turrets along the enemy path to the base. But I don't... We'll watch to see where they come from. <laughs> and make some notes. For now. And then I can shoot a little wimpy gun. As a last resort. Uh, what do you think? Here as well? Hmm. These, I'm already worried. If anybody comes this way. What do we have? We have, we have nothing. <laughs> we have basically nothing. Uh, is this even feeding stuff? There we go. That just wasn't working. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Okay, 45 seconds. Or we can just start it. Yeah. Okay, so where do they come from? And which way do they travel? Up here. Okay. Pew, 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 pew. Okay. Oh, someone's yelling outside. Okay, man. Mm -mm 
Mm. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'll, I'll get out of there. Let's see what the fort can do. Let's see if it can hold up, hold its own here. I'm very concerned. Okay, guys, you get him. I nope, it's not going well. It's not going well. We got him, but look at that. Oh, he's now he's dead. Wow, that was bad. That was very bad. <laughs> Okay, okay. Lots of walls. Um, lots of everything, please. That was terrible. Okay, what else can we do? How about another turret? No, we need something up here. How about... This, and then we put a guy right there. What do you think about that? Yeah, so this is... This is the route, at least, that that guy took. So that's that. So all of this is very vulnerable. We have, like, nothing here. Okay. Um, hmm. More walls, please. <sighs> yeah, that was bad. That was, like, the first round, and it was terrible. Okay. All right. Um, but this is the other tough part is just the logistics of conveyor belts and machinery. Because, like, how I need something up here. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's snowing. How nice. Okay. What if. Can I get crazy here? This goes here. And I think we have a conveyor belt that can go over top another one bridge maybe uh let's see no i see i don't want that no that's wrong <laughs> router distributor no overflow gate no maybe no well, let's see. Does anything come straight through here? It does. Okay. This will work fine. This is okay. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, it's time to go. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We lost. Yeah, we lost very badly. Okay. Back to beginner baby land, because that was awful. Can I turn this? Oh, there we go. That was bad. That was very bad. Let's uh, restock here in beginner land. <laughs> and then we can move on. But my goodness, that was terrible. See what I mean about being bad with strategy, I guess. Okay. Um, eh, may as well get a bunch more resources here. Let's try that. Can we do this? Beautiful. Those are good to go. Cool. Okay. And how much do I need to go somewhere else? Oh, I have enough. Yeah, let's go. Wow, that other round was so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Am I demonstrating why I was just not meant to be like a, a video game streamer like the cool kids? <laughs> wow, that was terrible. Okay, here's our core. There's our resources here right up against it, which is kind of inconvenient, but we'll make it work. Uh, get these started here. Perfect, thank you. Uh, da -da -da. And let's have like these two are dedicated just to um, turrets. How about that? So real quick. That's our excellent defense that we have so far. It looks pretty good. Uh, turrets. Da -da -da -da. Here we are. I'll have one here. Um, ooh. Here. Uh, 
Yeah, this is a little disorganized already. But we're doing it. We're getting things set up. We have three minutes left to get things sorted out here. Um, Let's have this feed resources too. That's fine. And what else? This guy can also do resources. I'm trying to have a lot of these do double duty. A little defense for our turret guys because they're trying their best. Uh, one here. But yeah, this is, uh, they said threat low, so this should be an easier level. So hopefully I won't immediately fail. Um, I mean, it's something, right? Do we have lead nearby? Nope. It's way over there. Uh, well, let's try it anyway. So we get a drill. to drill out the lead. And then we can use one of these special guns. Cool. That works. <laughs> That'll do something for us. And just little bitty bits of defense. We have plenty of resources right now, so it's not too much of an issue. Okay. Uh, um, anyway, what else is going on? Uh, let's see. I've been rewatching Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, very consistently. Um... Uh, sorry. Let me get this sorted out. Cool. Anyway, yeah, so I was, I was lucky enough to, um, you can now purchase, completely legitimately, you can purchase a really nice, uh, like, I don't know if it's 4K, but very high-res copy of The Last Wish with, uh, HDR. So that's been incredibly nice to watch on my, my fancy OLED TV that I got for Black Friday. Um... And I love it. I, I, I don't know what else to say. And that also inspired me putting up the video of, you know, the slow motion <laughs> uh, bits of animation from the movie. I yeah, I I need to stop gushing about that movie, but I'm just not at that stage yet. I'm still very infatuated with just the whole thing um, and presentation and all of it. Yeah, I'm just kind of in awe. <laughs> I won't be eventually. It'll, it'll fade, but I'm kind of enjoying this for the moment. Um, this is okay, right? I don't like that it's... Please give more. Yeah. Oh. Oh, see, it wasn't even building. Thank you. Thank you, little ship. Cool. Okay. What do you think? Is there anything else we need to worry about here? We have 10 seconds. I guess we'll see how it shakes out. This is very slow. I don't know if these guys are going to have... They have some ammo, but it's not a lot. Uh, yeah, hang on. Here they come. Okay, so now it should only be feeding to our turrets here. Okay. Uh, so where's the guy? Where's the bad guy? Da, da, da. Wow, this map is huge. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh... If anyone sees the bad guy, you let me know. But I look at our nice little setup there. We're we're getting going. I... Oh, there he is. I'm not going to shoot him. I'm going to let my guys do the work here. And hopefully this one should do the shooting this time around. Yep. Nice. Very nice. Look at that. See, these lead ones, these lead turrets only shoot... Uh, airborne enemies, which is kind of annoying, but they're very good at it. <laughs> they're pretty good. Okay. Uh, okay, so they came from this it came from this direction in general. I didn't see where it spawned, but that means that we can set up little baby uh, def sort of defense outposts along that path. And I love that kind of stuff. I love trying to plan ahead. <laughs> um, so I'll put one here just real quick. Just to have, and then I'll try to get more resources coming in. Wait, that's not in the right place. It should be on all four. Perfect. Okay. Here. Just right here is fine. Nothing fancy. Yeah, I like this game. I got it I got it on sale a little while back. It's very cheap. And I immediately spent like most of the day uh messing around with it, and it was a wonderful time. 
Um, are there any upcoming movies that we actually care about? This is definitely the time of year where theatrical releases are very dry. Uh, there just aren't that many of them, and the stuff that we do get tends to be kind of bad. <laughs> so I'm not expecting any, you know, anything to like blow my brains out. That's not a positive expression. I'm not expecting any movie to blow my brains out, but I'm also not expecting any movie that comes out right now to blow me away. And that is the more relevant phrase. <laughs> okay, well, there's my subconscious for you. Doing some stuff. Okay, okay. This is inelegant, but... Um... Oh, are there bad guys here? Apparently there were more bad guys. But don't worry, our system handled it just fine. Yeah, this is terrible. Look at this. Oh, oh, I think it's integrated with the defense. That's really cool. I didn't even know you could do that. This is incorrect. You go like this. Thank you. Cool. So now we have um, lead coming in for resources. So we should see that uptick in a while. Yeah, this is fun. I do like this. Okay. Uh, and since we have this built out, we may as well, you know, um, get another copper drill going there. And maybe another iron one as well, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Beautiful. Ah, logistics, you know? Okay. How about there? And then just have it feed in like that. Uh, what do we do? Like this? Yeah! Hey! Okay, so they, I don't think they attack these. I think they really just try to attack turrets and the core here and sort of our base which we also need a lot more defense for here because we saw what happened last time and then this side is completely unprotected <laughs> that's cool okay I'm feeling reasonably confident about this um, that's just resources, so let's not put turrets there, I guess, for now. That's a little turret there. We should do another lead turret over here. Uh, yeah. Cool. And just a little baby bits of defense nearby. Oh, look at that. Nice. Yeah, this is an easy level. We're going to do okay. Uh, okay, so that time was coming up through here. I don't know if we can do any more. Football says confidence is key. Uh, yeah, I think you could say that. That's just That just applies to everything, right? I think that applies to every game, every life activity. Even cooking, I think. Uh, okay, so there's our nice resources. That's fine. I don't know if we can like, get through the walls. That would be interesting. But this is a decent little setup. I'm happy with this. I keep you up while I play some games. Sounds very exciting. Games and watching games. And I can take all this scrap. Love that dark sand. What does that do for me? No. I don't know if that's useful, but I'll, I'll do it anyway. What is this track? This is, uh, this is kind of groovy. Okay. Um, how about anything we can use down here for like insurance? <sighs> Copper. <sighs> I don't, I don't know. These copper turrets, they see the range compared to this. It's just, it's just nowhere close. So we'll see what these can handle. Um, is this lead? Ooh, this might be a good spot. Perfect. Gun. No defense for the moment. I don't even know if this is going to be doing anything today. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Okay. Does this look decent? I kind of want to just build out the walls into infinity here. You know what I mean? I just I, I'm paranoid that things are going to go south fast. Uh, maybe a copper guy over here. Let's do that. Or we can stretch it with conveyor belts. Like this. It's okay. It's not bad. Uh, this is insurance. Yeah, this is not going to be doing any heavy lifting, I think. Um... this i don't even know if i can get these other resources yet this is like the unlock tree and it doesn't seem to be i don't see many opportunities here <laughs> everything's locked uh and they want me to capture more parts of the world which clearly i'm not up to yet so yeah we'll see how this goes um okay Let's just take on the next wave. We should probably rush this because we've been doing just fine. And I'll just be hands off for a little bit and we'll see how the base does. We'll see if our building has, has paid off. Wow, my camera is so red. Hold on. I want to change that. Closure. No, I, I don't want auto white balance. How's that? Slightly better. That's much better, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I looked so orange. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we're doing great. We're killing all these guys. It's fine. Someone along the path is handling these guys, which I really appreciate, but we're not even seeing it happen. <laughs> okay. Where are they? I wonder if I can upgrade my ship, too. That would be nice. Oh, there we go. Let's track him. Ooh, so this guy is doing some stuff. Nice. I should give him something to help out. And also another turret. Yeah, this is... Yeah, good. Very good. Cool. Wow. That was great. They were done in like two seconds flat. Cool. Oh, I use this song in my video sometimes. I think it's from New Leaf. Yes? Dun. Uh, it might be New Horizons. I can't quite remember. My gosh, speaking of games I haven't played in a long time, which I wasn't. <laughs> New Horizons is something I just don't touch anymore. It's kind of sad. That was so much fun when it first came out. Uh, yeah, let's bring on the next wave. Let's just finish this up. We'll get through the rest of these, and maybe after that I'll hop off. Oh, good. It's been another, like, half hour. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Yeah, I'll just finish up this area and sign off. Um, but yeah, before we get there, as always, um, feel free to let me know if you have suggestions for stuff. Uh, there also is a Discord. You're welcome to join. It used to be private. Now it's public, but I have to create new invite links when someone wants to join, so you can let me know about that. Um, otherwise, I hope that my recent videos have been received okay. I hope no one's getting too mad at me. Um, and... Yes, as I was talking about earlier on, um, plenty of plans for upcoming videos that are very much centered on just specific, you know, movies and shows, uh, and also the the, the surrounding uh, response and uh, discourse, we'll call it, uh, surrounding those releases. Um, so that's always fun. We'll do some more of that. And uh, yeah, I do think I also have a couple other um longer form video ideas up on the list so 
uh, I'll get to those eventually as well. Um, but for the moment, I don't know. I've been enjoying just putting stuff up whenever I can. Uh, something I would like to return to, if possible. It's been a long time since I was doing this actively. Um, but I really enjoyed doing weekly streams for a while. I think it was always on Thursdays. And I would like to get back to that at some point. Um, it's just a question of like scheduling and making sure that I can, you know, show up consistently. <laughs> I don't want to commit to a weekly thing and then have it turn out that I wasn't able to actually do it that time of the week. So there's that and uh, trying to have that line up with the job and everything else. But uh, but yeah, I'd love to do that because I really enjoy doing the weekly streams. Um, and for a while there, we were even doing like basically animation book club with no books where we just uh agree to to watch some episodes of a, a particular show or to watch a particular movie during that week that was readily available uh and then chat about it on the upcoming you know the next uh, stream um and i liked that a lot i think that was a great idea it might have been ugo's idea originally and um yeah so we'll see if it's possible uh to get into that format again and find a day of the week and a time that works for plenty of viewers and stuff. Um, I think that would be great. But yeah. Um, eh, let's do a couple more rounds here and then we'll, we'll call it quits. A couple more waves. Anything else I need to take care of here? No. I'm glad the stream has been running well enough. I haven't dropped any frames. The, the PC didn't crash. I was worried about that. Um... Yeah, this is it's it's going okay, but yeah, I do think I'll have to try to upgrade the uh, the PC soon because it's having some issues. So, so yeah, that's a bit of a a bit of a thing. Whoa, uh oh, oh, he's a shield. Oh no, not too bad. Either way, we're good to go. <laughs> I got a nice healthy helping of that game. Um. And I think a, a healthy helping of, of live streaming for the week. Uh, so yeah, if you're here in the U.S., I hope you enjoy your three-day weekend. It's MLK Day tomorrow. I know I'll be taking the day off and just working on my own stuff. Um, otherwise, yeah, I hope you're having a lovely week. You're getting through <laughs> the start of the new year just fine. Um, I know the pandemic effects seem to be eternal, so the certain things are still very difficult for a lot of us, but I think we're we're moving ahead. We're moving forward regardless. Um, and yes, always, you know, keep an eye out for more stuff on the channel. If you have suggestions or, or issues or anything, you can let me know. I'm very accessible compared to <laughs> much larger creators. Um, and yeah, again, I'll see you about the live stream if I can do a regular scheduled thing again, because that would be nice. Um, but yeah, I think that's just about all for now. So thanks for stopping by.